Hello everybody, this is Alex from the Game Conquerors, and this here is my colleague, Big L. What? Help me. Back white. Okay, this is it, John. It was kind of pathetic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll be honest, I don't really remember what happened last episode. Oh, wait, wait, no, that's not true. I'm pretty sure Josh revealed he was a psychopath. Let us continue. Josh? <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead! What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you were gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt! Revelation three hours until dawn. Mind if I do? Kinda better than the flashlight. What? Kinda better than the flashlight. I can't hear you, oh well. Your romantic postcard. <clears throat> we are back after we sorted that out. <laughs> No postcard for me. Come on. Structure collapse. Drop down, I guess. Only one way to go. Mm -mm, I don't like that. Gonna be the way. Hopefully. Run! Run! Uh, that was oh,
She survived. Barely. Or maybe not. Nope, she did. A bit, do you turn into a Wendigo? Find out, aren't you? Trying to make it so you can't sit through the rest. Run! Run, bitch, run! I'm not concerned for her. I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it it oh. fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Or mines. There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found Oh it. my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, Mike. Sad. <sighs> We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I, she's all messed up, guys. Emily, hey Em. Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Okay. I'm opening. 
door. You ready? You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. You fingers. You can't operate it like he can. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear about it. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh crap. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, no he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then, I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. You don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... That's drill yeah, sergeant. I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Where do you get a flamethrower from? This is the end point towards the That's your question? Go. I know how to use a shotgun. This is thing called a door. What? How do you know? So magical. Trust me, I know. <clears throat> hey, come back safe. PDA. Yeah. Enough of that. See you soon. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's uh? What, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them, if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor, unless you burn it off first. Ew. Gross. Yeah. 
Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some pattern. Like any animal. Or human. Like how? They've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Probably a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. The, uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, you'll be able to smell me or something? Don't like it. They'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. <laughs> Josh, he could still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. Again, he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So we'll watch that. Sounds like it is. I made it. Sounds so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, 
He's gotta have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. F. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Is that really such a good idea? And what is all yeah. that? So, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? That guy was prepared for anything. <sighs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying. I have an idea. So we're out the door and run my. Weird is that there's a tunnel leading <laughs> the log to the sanatorium. See? I mean, it's That's a good idea. Back. Yeah. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um. What is? Huh? What is that? Ash. Um. Oh my. God. Oh it's God, it's oh nothing. Oh it just no, it, it no, bit no. me it and bit you. What bit you? The the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you. I I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily. At least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you. You could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. I don't think that's what a blasted army. Is that how it works? Yes, it happens. If it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on. No, he said if you watch oh cannibals. Oh my god! Hey, yeah. You can't be down here with us. Cowards. What, Mike? You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell, I am. Emily. You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? I would, though. Just throw her out there. Who's right here? Good excuse. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Trick her friends oh, no, at the Kyoto. You're making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with. Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. Yeah, no. <sighs> Gotta keep everyone alive. You did the right thing. That's my one rule about this playthrough. Maybe. For now. But I did make a session for her. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Nope. He's gonna die. So I'm rooting for Mike. I mean, he actually stood up to Emily. Yeah. I thought that that he was gonna help us with the flamethrower, dude. Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. Oh, yeah, I've kept everyone this. alive so far. Everyone that could yeah. survive. Ugh. Oh, that's it. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. 
what? No, no. What is it? What does it say? Maria, sure. It says that the bites. It, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Damn it. I'm just What did you say? Um. It says you'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine. Michael almost shot me. Is that he fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's none of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for this. Please just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> Oh, I wish I had shot her. Yep, I agree. I'm so, so sorry. Shit. I like Dashley too. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> We've got to get to Mike. Like now. I right, think I'm fine right here. No, what are you doing? Get back there. <laughs> stand down, stand safe. <laughs> triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else remember last year huh how you left your poor sisters to die you did nothing to help them Paralyzed by your own self that true. He got drunk and was asleep. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Yeah, it feels great. Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. I did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were so... Or at least until you subjected them to your there. night of horrific torture. Just a game? But it's a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. Isolation. Well, everybody, I think that's all the time we have left for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, leave even a comment. comment. Be safe, guys. Drive safe, be safe, and act safe. And don't right. be immature. Everybody have fun. Goodbye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.